Number nine, how many coulombs of positive charge are there in four kilograms of plutonium, given its atomic mass is 244 and that each plutonium atom has 94 protons? Alrighty, so basically what I have to do first is I have to find out, you know, how many atoms of plutonium we're dealing with. Why? Well, because they tell me each plutonium atom has 94 protons. So I have to somehow relate this mass, the four kilograms, uh, to a number of atoms. All right, so that's my first process. And if you've taken chemistry, right, this should be fairly familiar, although probably not, you haven't been practicing it too much, I'm sure, nor should you have. I mean, why, right? Um, but this is basically just a, a very straightforward and widely used conversion process from chem. So this is going to be kilograms on the bottom. We have to convert this into grams first because the atomic mass, although the, they don't tell us the units, there are, by the way, a few units for mass here when we deal with uh, atomic uh, mass. It, it, it kind of depends, but I'm using the grams per mole value. All right. So uh, there's a thousand grams in every one kilogram, and I have to convert this into grams because I need to use this atomic mass that has grams in it. So grams on the bottom now, moles on the top, I'm going to place in my atomic mass there of 244 grams for every one mole. Now that I know the number of moles, I can now make the leap to the number of atoms because I know Avogadro's number. If I know the moles, then I know the atoms, right? Avogadro's number is just a certain collection of atoms per mole. In other words, one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, all right? And we simply, voila, have our unit of atom. So why don't we just calculate it? We're not done with the problem, but let's calculate it. Four times a thousand uh, times then 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 244. And we get a value here of about 9.87, I guess. 9.87 times 10 to the 24th. And uh, that will represent atoms of plutonium, right? So now, if I know this number of atoms, and they told us that each plutonium atom has 94 protons, all I now have to do is basically take this value and multiply it by 94. Okay, I could have also done that in the conversion process too, but I decided to stop there. Um, I don't know why, but sure. So let's multiply that by 94. Now we realize we got about 9.28, 9. Point, what's going on here? Sorry. 9.28 times 10 raised to the 26th now, uh, protons, all right? And they want us to find now the, the how many coulombs of positive charge there are if we have 9.28 times 10 to the 26 protons. So now we do another conversion, right? So this whole problem could have just been a whole str strung along conversion problem, but I decided to break it up here in the end a little bit. Um, so 9.28 times 10 to the 26 protons, right? Times now, you have to remember this value that every one proton carries with it 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs of charge. So the protons cancel there, the number of protons, and now we're just going to take the number multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and what do we get? 1.48 times 10 to the 3... I think eight, my eyes are going a little cross-eyed there counting the decimals, but that should be right. Uh, and that's Coulombs, okay? That's the amount of charge. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Hit the like button, tell your friends. All right, we appreciate it. Have a great day.